The CW Source, catching you up with Reaper. So keep it right here. Every week, there's a hilarious vessel that Sam uses to transport the demon back to hell. This week, it came in the form of a very bad Christmas gift. Oh, wow. Reaper is really going green this week, in every way right down to the demon. Sam had to battle the slime monster incarnate of a corrupt businessman who was picking off anyone who got in the way of his slimy son's political aspirations. Whoa, look out! While Sam, Sock, and Ben were scouring the sewers to track down this evil oozing oddity, Andy was swooned oh, by the God. likes of a new bow. Oh. Flowers, Sam? Flowers aren't for me, Ted. Oh, they're from Greg. Greg? The devil made good on his promise to deliver the contract, even though it was in Latin. But he was very devilish when letting Sam in on a little secret about Andy's yeah. new suitor. See, he's been dating other women. Plural. Twins, to be exact. What? Demon delivering duties once again take priority, and when the troublemaking trio finally close in on the slime monster, guess who comes to Sam's rescue this time? As it turns out, the devil lied to Sam about his new rival's relationship with the two sluts. Uh, told Josie that Greg was dating slutty twins? Like these ones? Y yeah, yeah, those are the ones. They're his sisters. But hey, the devil is the devil, right? What I'm wondering is why Sam's dad felt he had to tear out a page of the contract. And how did he learn to read Latin? I'll be tuned in tonight and every Tuesday at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock central to find out. By the way, have you uploaded your picture of your favorite costume to win the Reaper autographed mask?